Hello everyone. This is a quick update related to the stroke font and writing animation add-on in Blender and the stroke font extensions in Inkscape. You may be aware that Inkscape 1.0 beta is now available and with it comes a new version of Hershey text extension. This extension allows basically the in-place replacement of the text with the stroke font text. It has also got a new set of stroke fonts. And a nice thing about this is all these fonts are stored in a separate SVG file. And if you create your own font, you can use that by specifying the path in this field to render the given text with that font. And here is the website for Hershey text version 3 extensions. The SVG font files used by this extension are available for download from this GitLab page. I have given all this information in video description. When I was developing the add-ons and extensions, the SVG fonts were not available. They were embedded in the code. So I created my own format. But now that we have this generic format, I ported the fonts used by the add-ons and extensions to this new format. Which means that you can render text in Blender add-ons and Inkscape extensions using these new stroke fonts. And the fonts that you design using my custom stroke font extensions can be used in other applications. I'll just show you how to do that. You can download the font files from here. These are all stroke fonts. So let's say I download this file. Here is that file. Now if you want to use this file with the Inkscape extension, you need to copy this file in the user extensions folder. You will be able to find the user extensions folder from edit preferences and then go to system and here in the user extensions field you will see the folder where the user extensions are stored after you download the Inkscape stroke fonts extension you are required to extract the zip file in the user extensions folder after that there will be this stroke font data subfolder under user extensions and there will be these new SVG font files corresponding to the bundled fonts in the extension now just copy the font that you downloaded from the Hershey text website here in this folder. So we downloaded this particular font EMS Allure and then go to Inkscape and from custom stroke font execute this synchronize font list extension. This won't display any dialog but it updates all the fields with the new files in the folder. If you haven't gone through the video tutorials related to the Inkscape stroke font extensions, I have specified the link in the video description. There you will find all the details related to these five custom stroke font extensions. So after you synchronize the font list, just close Inkscape and restart it. And now if you invoke the render text extension, you will see the new font that we downloaded. So here you see the glyphs from the new font file. And of course you can render text with this newly added stroke font. You will also be able to edit these fonts from edit stroke font extension. So the glyphs from the new font that we downloaded are displayed here. And you can edit these glyphs and simply invoke the generate font data extension to generate a new font file with the edited glyphs. There is a small change in the create font design template extension and the generate font data extension. Now you will need to specify the space width along with the font size. Space width is about one half to one third of the font size. This is actually the width of the blank space left between the words. This is mandatory in create font design template. And also you can modify this at the time of generating font data here. If you don't want to change the space width, you can simply leave the zero value in this field. Also the font that you edit or create using the custom stroke font extensions you will be able to use with the new version of the Hershey text. Just choose other in this field and specify the complete path of the SVG file in this particular field. The path is of course the path of the font file that is under the stroke font data subfolder in user extensions directory. You can also use these new fonts with writing animation and the stroke font add-on. To do that, first of all, you need to install the writing animation. 
I have created a couple of videos related to this. You will find the links in video description. I'll simply install the add-on that includes both writing animation and stroke font and enable the writing animation and stroke font extensions here in the add-ons dialog. After that, there will be new panels for writing animation and stroke font text. So writing animation basically allows you to create handwriting animation with the stroke font. Here I am using the bundled stroke font. But if you now want to use the new fonts that we just saw, you need to copy the font file we downloaded in the Blender config add-ons folder. So in the scripts add-on folder corresponding to the Blender version you are using, you will see the folder for add stroke font. And under that again, there will be stroke font data subfolder. The font files are stored here. So you need to basically copy the font that we downloaded in this particular folder and just restart Blender. So the next time you will see this new font that we downloaded in the drop down. And you will be able to create the writing animation using this font. And you can of course use this font also in add stroke font extension. That's it for now. If you have any questions or queries, please leave a comment on this video. Thanks for your time.